All right. Now I'm going to begin to talk to you for more than 45 minutes what point this game. About what the fuzz is a let's play or specific person plays. Well, back in the day, it started out like this. You let's play the game. Kind of like what I'm doing right now. Only I can't call it that anymore because it's such an old time thing. I know that people still kind of do it, but it's not as popular anymore. The most popular thing now, if you can count it at all, is a lot of them just moved over to live streaming or haven't done anything. Like, let's play! Let's play! Let's play! You know, and... Or, I play this, or I play that, or... Again, it's essentially, basically, people playing a game. Now, I jumped on the bandwagon, not exactly at the same time as everybody else. But it wasn't exactly a bandwagon because it wasn't on there at the same time for everybody else there doing it. I just went on it because I felt like doing it. And I was going to do it with someone else before they passed away. True story. It didn't work out. So ultimately, I wound up doing it all on my own. I did, however, start a little bit of a series with someone else that I know of. It's not, it's not it's still alive. And I'm going to tell you, it didn't end too well. We didn't even finish it. Oh yeah, we we it was a co-op. It was kind of like a challenge, but we ended that before we finished it. So in any case, that's all it was. That's the past. I mean, that day goes by that if you just start YouTube just now, you don't know what it's like back then. Just because someone just all of a sudden says now. Let's play may not mean anything to you now. But you'll find it on there like any many titles, not just let's play, whatever. Any game I can think of that's still done with the past. You know, they call it a let's play or any kind of way they can call it, but they were still guiding people. And that wasn't anything it, when it used to first started out. Okay. When YouTube first started out, I don't even know if they even had music. Honest to God, I didn't even know anything about it. See, I came about before YouTube was real. I think they supposedly came out in 2001, somewhere in there. Whereas opposed to me, I happened to be around before the internet became what it is, or it is today. And... Well, we still had cell phones, but we didn't have Androids. We didn't even have iPhones. iPhones did not exist back in my time. You'll hear me do talk about this here and there, not every freaking video like everything else. And I'm going to tell you, um, was playing a thing that was not a bad thing, but it became bad because who either gave up or gave up to the point they weren't even on the platform anymore. They just moved on to streaming. And if they did come back every now and again, it would be just to upload to YouTube, whatever they live streamed, because they got more people over there. And, um, it's all because of fame and fortune. Like, it's gone to their head. <laughs> you know, it's okay, baby. It's okay. You can do what you want. Okay, go on. Go on. Anyway, basically, YouTube has always been a thing that's been something I've been doing long before it's bit shoot or anything else was even created. Uh, you know, even before Spotify. 
you know, Spotify was barely starting out and everything else. And let me tell you, I can remember the days when I could come on YouTube and you'd be like, okay, this is that. And even further before that, I was watching TV before I even knew what YouTube was. I didn't even get into YouTube that much. And YouTube was not a big popular deal back in the day. Let me tell you, I mean, before that, before they started going into this, let's play, let's play. Now, if you see people doing it, they're either not doing any commentary, or they are sitting there doing it with, um, you know, basically live streaming it, and there is uh, no stopping them, and there's no sense in trying, because can you blame them? YouTube has lost a lot of people over the years. Some of it to do with people that have actually died in real life, like, you know... One of the best commentators, I'm not saying nobody was real, because that's not true. A lot of people, there's been lots of people that are on YouTube that you could probably say they were not real. But ultimately, not as real as Total Biscuit. And I'm not saying I'm not, I wasn't real, but, you know. And I'm not going to sit there and say that I agree with everything, but I, had, I know he made some good points. And I, I'm going to tell you... That man had a lot to say in his time before he died. You know, he had cancer in some areas, and then he was wound up being having stage four, and that was not good. You know, living on basically borrowed time before you can just say, you know what, I'm done. I can't do this anymore. The hell of it is, is that while people may think that we could use him today, in a lot of ways, yeah, but in other ways, no. I think I just saw something. No? Okay. But I mean, honestly, if I had to say that, if anything, you know, Total Biscuit was the man. You know, and I'm not going to sit there and say that he was, he'd be more realer than I am, or I'm, he's, I, I'm more realer than he was. So, you know. Anyway, hey guys, my name is Brian Barnett Gatch, here in Welcome Back, folks, one and all, to Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. In the last episode, I believe when he went and got some armor and whatnot, but anyway. So here's a new enemy, uh, Salamand. Uh, it's the upgraded form of Flazard, I believe, or whatever. Yeah, they're, they're not all that. But anyway, so... If you can believe it, you know... I was a fan of the guy, too. I just, I guess I wasn't that much into his... Stuff, because I didn't know very much about him. I... I Honestly, I didn't know that much about him. I'm sorry. You know. You know, and honestly, I thought he wasn't a man for being paid. I, you know. But apparently I was wrong about that. I mean, I'm not going to lie that a lot of it I agree with, but there was just so little I could dis basically disagree with. But at the same time, I do respect him and his opinion and what he had to say. Because a lot of it made sense, you know? Got me a baby. Come here. Oh, I wish you could grab Anyway, <sighs> I, I know. Believe me, I know. I was hard in Stasina. You 
Yeah, I mean, we're not even... I mean, we're getting so close to ending this game, it's not funny. The next one is take its place. You know... I'm going to hold off on it because I want to get off on the, the sun. that does not sound right whatsoever. Forget what I just said there. Let me replace that with, I'm going to go ahead and do the next one I've been planning on anyway, even if it does require, you know, I know I can get quite far with it, so. That's not a big deal. Yeah, just so you know, that's a fang pyre. You know, yeah, see, and a turtle. You know, I don't know if he'll ever decide to do it. I mean, there was talks about him making another one anyway. The one that was in charge of making this game for the Super NES. Like a direct sequel to this. But, you know, it still never happened. It's been in direct limbo for like so long, just like Sakodin and... You know, it's just so many others, including anime shows. That, like, they just didn't bother to make another season. Like, you know, there's so much more to it, and it's ended it right there. Like, not, nah, I didn't want to do no more. Why end it like that, then? I'm not going to sit there and read the damn book. Nobody in their right mind is going to want to read the book. Just to finish it off. You know, and I mean nobody. No, but, you know, I think the manga is just as great as well as anything else. But at the same time, I got to say that when you think about what's good and everything, when you watch a show... You really want to end it off in going to say, okay, maybe I should have watched this or read the book. Or after the fact that the show is over, you know? No. I feel the same way about The Devil is a Part-Timer. And, uh, you know, many other shows have been truly, truly affected. So, you know... And I'll tell you, I mean, honestly, I have to say that with everything going on in this world, there's just too much going on. While everyone may have the solution, I don't have all the answers. I mean, not ones that would be everyone can agree on, anyway. That sucked. If only my power was even more stronger, but you won't get that. Huh. Okay, what the... Seriously? Y'all just are the biggest middle finger for that. Anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and collect these, but I'm going to go ahead and use them up too. I'm going to keep it at 83. I'm not going to max out to the final bit of this game. I find it more useful that way. Trust me, it's much better off that way. But either way, I mean, you know, this whole entire world is crazy. Now they're trying to make excuses for Putin just doing his war. Oh, because he couldn't get his precious hand shaked. I don't know if I believe that, but that's just the way things are. You know, that's why it's just a big old deal to start a war. It's because you don't get your hand shaked because you're a president. Yeah, I don't believe that. If I bought that, man, I would have done my... Everybody would have done that. Excuse me, sorry, I should rephrase that. It's like, okay, people just don't like you, so you just start a war. No. 
I mean, while I can't promise to sit here and swear, you dirty son of a bitch. I really didn't do me any good. Ooh, 2730. Ooh, that's not bad. Fang power uppercut, huh? Eh, uh, so what? You know, one thing I gotta say about this is that I'm glad that we actually had the opportunity to... That's what I'm looking for. Get life. Because without it, man, if something happened to Ruben, I don't know why we had to wait so late, but, you know, whatever. That's crazy. But, you know, I mean... Maybe, uh, you know, we would not be able to make it because, you know, we need to be able to revive just in case because you never know a battle can go stale or south. You know, and, I, and I'm not kidding. In other words, I could lose this battle. Because I'm unable to revive him if he goes get stoned or get or if they kill him. So, you know. but I, there's just so much in this world that I could discuss about, and I don't want to go on about it, even though I should probably not say my two cents on it because nobody really gives a crap what I gotta say. But you know what? I'm not gonna say it anyway. I mean, I, I could sit here and debate and bait, 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 and nobody would even bat an eye, unless it's like Frank Sinatra or ever Presley. We you know he's supposed to be dead, but you know it's neither here nor there. You know, like if someone like that were to talk or like Total Biscuit, you would definitely jump on board and say, "Yeah, I believe you." But if I say it. I don't believe you. I ignore your channel. Unsubscribe. This guy doesn't even know what she's talking about. What an idiot. I mean, seriously, I could... Uh, because I, sometimes I feel like that because it's true. And, and I'm not looking for recognition or anything. It's just... At the same time, I feel like, okay... Like, what I have to say is important just as anybody else's, you know? And, um, really, I'm not doing any, myself any favors by saying, okay, let me just put on the clone of, or, you know, not seal in any, but, but like, uh, some kind of deodorant, you know, make myself feel like I'm, you know, one of the famous guys you'd absolutely fall in love with, or, I'd go, yeah, I follow that guy. I know what he's saying. I actually get him. I'm not gonna do that. And there's many things I'd love to put my voice on. My uh, two cents, as you might say. But it won't work out that way. You know, even if I got into um, being a newscaster or whatever over the radio, you think that anybody would listen to me? Not a soul. And nobody, nobody wants to listen to a guy that can ramble on. Even though that there are plenty of people that are just as famous, I mean, famous as ever, or actually, I say because you know whatever, and they can ramble on and on and on, and nobody would care. They wouldn't, you know, they they bat an eye, and they, and, you know, they basically would just listen to them and not me. So, anyway. That's just the way things go. And you know, I gotta say, I mean, with everything going on, what is this, what's the point of life, anyway?
almost looks like that thing part has got boobs. You know, tiny little boobs for some dumb reason. But anyway, you know, that's without even directly looking, I mean, for crying out loud, I mean, you know. Uh, about, you know, if I really was, really cared about this, I'd be sewing down and putting a save state up here and just reload it until I did right, but you know what, I'm not gonna go through all that trouble. But you know, I will go ahead and do three videos, anyway, of what I want to put out, and then I'll, you know, Concentrate on the other one. Who knows? I might switch it back and forth until whatever happens happens. Oh, jeez, really? Was that really the smartest solution you could have ever done? Okay. Yeah, could have got a glimpse of where a chest is from here. But it's supposed to be something else, either way. You know. Alright. There's supposed to be some kind of different stairs as well, like uh, like this, but you know, leads to an exit. Either way, I'll see you on the next episode. Uh, I recommend you save at this point. Um, we will be going back though to uh, flip the switch. You know. It might be a time waster, but at least you don't have to go all the way through the enemies just to go and get to it. Like, oh no, how do I open this door? Well, you know, at least we'll be able to see it. Anyway, I'll see you all next time. Until then, oh, later.